So guys, in a few days is finally the day I'm going to move to Korea for one year. Oh my god, I am so excited and scared and I have to pack my bag now because I'm already leaving in a few days and I'm so excited and scared Oh my god And I also want to show you some things which I packed because there were some things which were way more expensive in Korea than in Germany or there were some things I wish I knew earlier that I would need them there. So let's pack my luggage together and let's see what I will bring. I have to pack for like four seasons and I don't know if I can put them all in two and a half suitcases. So let's find out and see. Let's pack together my luggage. I'm so excited. Make sure to bring some like menstruation products. They are so, so expensive in Korea. And so I bought like two packages and um, since my menstruation is not really regular, I think this will like last for one year. So I bought two of these big packages. The next really, really important thing is deodorant. You will rarely find it in Korea. And if you will find it, it's so expensive. So I bought some deodorant it will also last like for one year and i love this one this is like the best it's the best you even though if you sweat you will not feel anything you will not smell it's the best i love this one it's a little bit more expensive but it's the best trust me it's the best so then i bought like um one conditioner this is enough like for one year i'm not using too much and two shampoos because like shampoo is like there are some brands which are like not too expensive but like I heard that like Korean shampoos are not the best for like European hair so I heard that like many European people who use Korean shampoo like this caused like hair loss and hair damage and it was not good for their hair so I just bought like two hair products from Germany and I know they are good for me so I will bring these two and then I'm on the safe side then I have also these two hair products for like hair styling some hairspray and like this is hair cream or how's it called like the white cream you put in your hair and you can style your hair with it I don't know the word in English but I think you know what I mean so I will bring these two products because like hairspray was also quite expensive I still have so many things from last time when I was in Korea so I don't have to buy more skincare that's good I have so many things left guys today is the final day in about like two hours I will leave and I will go to the airport and I will fly to South Korea and I will stay for one year and I cannot believe it I'm so excited I almost could not sleep this night and I'm really tired but I hope I will find some peace in the airplane and that I can sleep a little bit because I'm really really tired but I have to get ready now a little bit because I'm really tired so I'm ready now and I We'll have like breakfast now because I'm starving and I will pack some other items which I want to bring with me to Korea and then let's head out to find a new airport crush. Guys, I made it. 
my luggage is checked in and now I'm waiting in the like waiting area and, like always when I'm flying something happens like when I wanted to check in online um, on my boarding pass it says that I'm a man not female I don't know how this happened so I was so scared that I could not check in because on like my boarding pass it says that I'm a man but I don't know like I was able to check in I have my like tickets now so I hope I will like this will not matter or anything I'm really scared but um, yeah I don't know why always something happens so annoying I arrived at my I wanted to say apartment but it's just a small room like when I opened the door my eyes were like this this is such a small room like on the pictures this room looks way more bigger and the bed was also different anyways like I don't I booked this room for two months but I don't think I will stay here for two months even though, though it's really really cheap like it's directly located in Gangnam like I opened the window and it's so loud and noisy because it's in the center of Gangnam so the location is perfect but the room is really small like I can just turn around and that's it and I have like so much stuff which I have to pack out and I have to put everything in this really really small closet guys I just got ready and you know I'm making working holiday so I had to apply for like jobs and I applied for a job in a German bakery and I just got an Instagram DM that I can have a job interview on Tuesday, next Tuesday already and I'm so so excited it will be in Korean so I have to prepare and I have to like learn some phrases for job interviews I can only like keep uh, simple conversations in Korean now I have a like job interview in Korean oh my god but yeah I hope they will be a little bit um, understanding and I'm so so excited and happy right now I really have to prepare to get this job because I really really want to have this job it would be so nice that like I just came to Korea and it would be so nice to like immediately have a job and some things I really need in this apartment are missing like hair dryer and some other things so I'm going to Daiso now to get these things because it's really cheap there and they have everything. I will go out right now, like my first day. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go out now. And yeah, let's go. I actually wanted to go out and like um, explore the neighborhood and check out some stores but I just I'm just so tired I am still feeling the jet lag and I'm not really in the mood to do anything I just went to Starbucks today and I was just reading like for three hours straight actually I wanted to make this video as like a like I wanted to film today and the arriving but I think I will just film like the whole week because actually I did nothing and I cannot finish this video with doing nothing so this video is going to be like the first week of Korea and I have so much makeup here as you can see so I bought like two organizers this one and this one and I will put my makeup inside now because like this takes
table here is a complete mess and I don't know like where to put all of my makeup now I just realized how much stuff I packed which I actually don't need so everything is organized now it looks way more cleaner and now I also bought like these hangers for cloth because like I have so many like jackets and hoodies which I don't want to put inside the really small closet because then it would be full already and there on on the ceiling there um, is like a hanger so I can put on the cloth like on the ceiling so I can like put them out of the way I also bought these really really cute um, hair clips and they were also like kind of cheap only 2001 guys if you are in Korea get one of these this is my most favorite snack in Korea I don't know why but these are so good I just love the combination of like the chocolate and the cookie I bought a huge package I don't know why they're not really special but I just love them they look like this like small mushrooms I guess so simple but so good and make sure to buy one of these filters for like the shower because especially when your apartment is old get one of these last time when I went to Korea I didn't use a filter and my skin condition got so bad I think this is also because of the water because it has way more calc inside and it's so like hard and you can literally like taste it it is so like I don't know so I want to like to make sure that my skin will not break out again and I don't want to like have hair loss so I'm using these filters here to prevent this so guys I'm ready to go out now I have the address for the sim card location it's in Hongdae so I have to take the subway now and I do not have internet so I hope that there is like Wi-Fi at the train station and I just screenshotted like like every station I have to take and like which direction because I'm really afraid that I will not find it because I have no internet I will just pray that I will find it and that I will hopefully have internet at the end of this day I just applied for the SIM card, it will take around 15 minutes and then I will get a phone number and some data. <laughs> Hi guys, today is a new day and today I have my first job interview and I'm really tired because I was preparing the whole night. I was like preparing some like answers I could give and some questions they could ask and I was eating this ramyeon but I'm barely hungry today. Like I really really hope that I will get this job. It's really important because I need a job for my working holiday so I can continue living here, right? So let's head out and wish me luck. Guys, I'm walking through inside on a little bit because I'm so excited. I'm so nervous and I try to remember all the sentences I wrote down for the interview. And today's like 26 degrees, 
so I'm really sweating because of the because it's so hot and I am so nervous so I'm sweating even more and I have this long blues oh, I'm so dumb but yeah it's okay walk into shops like this I'm calling for cute packaging and cute things so I'm at Unloop station right now and I'm going to the job now to have the interview I'm so nervous oh my god I will tell you how it was after <laughs> get a insurance and after this I could start there and this is so great and the funny thing is I just like walked through in Salong and I saw them again and they were saying like hi where are you going it was so funny I was so surprised that we met one time more but yeah maybe that's a good sign and I had a good feeling with them they were so kind and um, understanding so I'm really happy that I got the job now, I think. And then that I can start next week. So I have to prepare like the insurance. I also have to apply for the ARC card, like the alien registration card. And then I can also have the insurance, the work, not, no, the, like the insurance from Korea health insurance because like if you stay over three months in Korea I think you have to like pay for Korean health insurance and that's what I have to do now I have to like make an appointment at the immigration office and then I can start right away I'm so so happy now And look at this view. It's so so nice. I love being here just because of the buildings and the atmosphere and everything. So if you're planning to come to Korea as well and you have not been yet, then make sure to do it. And now like end of May is I think almost the best time because it is not too hot but it's like warm enough to go outside with like no jackets and yeah the weather is just perfect shopping and I always think like it's so funny like I'm 
speaking in Korean but they answer me in English and then at the end I'm also switching to English because it's like kind of awkward to continue speaking in Korean then so guys I'm back home with a job which is so nice like for real now like I can move out of this apartment like in next month or in two months I don't know how long I will stay here but I do not have to stay in this apartment longer than one month because then I will like get some money from the job and then I can get a bigger apartment I'm so so happy like for real but like it's such a relief to know that I like have a job now and like this is like one of the purpose why I'm here like I want to travel and work and I can only travel when I have a job right so I'm so so happy and relieved right now and I will eat something like I went to the convenience store I bought like two kimbaps one with um, tuna and this is egg with mayo and I bought this snack here called sweet honey ball and I love honey and they look really really delicious so I bought them to try them So I ate the kimbap, which was okay. It was not the best, but it was okay. And now I will try these ones. I'm so hyped. Okay, now they do not really look good. Oh, fuck. They taste like just cake like the sponge the cake with sugar and at the end a little bit honey it's okay I thought they would be better so guys I think I will end this video here because actually there's nothing special anymore I plan for this week and I think this video is already really long, I guess. So yeah, that's it for this video. But stay tuned for more videos. I plan so many things to do here in Korea. And I'm so, so excited for the time which is coming now and the future. So if you liked the video, I would be really happy if you give this video a thumb up or subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I really hope we're going to see us again in my next one. So see you.